hi guys uh, in this video i'm going to upgrade the graphic card and the uh, cpu cooler on my pc so uh, stay tuned guys i will uh, show you what are the components that i'm going to use for this upgrade so currently i'm using ryzen 5 5600x processor and amd rx 6500 xt 4gb graphic card with a total of 32 gb memory i will uh, put uh, full pc specs in the description below if anyone uh, interested so here you can see the uh, cpu getting around 60 to 70 degrees of celsius with the stock cooler even running with the low cpu usage the graphic card i'm using rx 6500 xt 4 gb graphic card from msi brand so i know guys this gpu has bad reputation since it was uh, released to the market but from my perspective it is not that bad uh, you can get decent gaming performance with extremely lower power consumption so my only concern is this gpu is not supporting for gpu encoding that's mean basically you can't use gpu acceleration features for video editing works or your graphic designing works so that is the only concern uh, but other than that uh, this is a great great budget gpu for 1080p gaming here i'm playing apex legend with uh, lowest graphic settings it's getting around 150 frame rate but i limited that to 144 which is uh, my monitor refresh rate gpu is uh, performing really well here but anyway guys look at the cpu temperature and uh, it's close to 90 degrees celsius that is so bad so that is the main reason to upgrade cpu cooler to this one this is the cooler i'm going to use for this upgrade the kraken 120 from ncxt i think this is a decent cooler for mid-range cpu like uh, 5600x and uh, i will show you guys how this gonna perform in the end of the video this is the graphic card i'm going to use for this upgrade rtx 4060ti 8gp from msi and this is the gaming x slim version i know guys this is a little bit overkill for processor like 5600x that's why i'm hoping to upgrade the cpu in near future so let me know guys in the comment section what is the best cpu to pair with this graphic card without any cpu bottlenecking so i prepared a little unboxing clip for both the cooler and the graphic card so let's see that first
all right guys upgrade is done we can see cpu temperature is noticeably low now this is the final look after the upgrade So finally I tested Apex Legends and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on this new system and this is what I got as the benchmark result. Okay guys this is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it or learned something new if you are new to my channel please subscribe for more pc game related videos so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video